Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here and in this video we're going to be looking at Team Fortress 2 running on Ubuntu 15.04 and Windows 8.1. So a couple of things before we get started. This video was requested. It's been requested quite a number of times in the past as well but I've always run into issues so I'm finally getting the video up and done this time. We are running it on OpenGL 3 versus Direct 3D9. It's going to be running on the latest NVIDIA drivers for both platforms. More information on that in the description down below. It's set to FPS Max 1000 so that we're not being limited to the 300 cap currently. And I'm going to be skipping the respawn uh, sections of the video where I die in a respawn time for 10, 15, 20 seconds. I skip those. So let's go ahead and see how Team Fortress 2 runs. Alright, we're starting off with the absolute minimum settings. Still running at 1920 by 1080 p That is how the whole video will be going at 1080p all throughout. So on the left is Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right is Windows 8.1. Now I'm using GLX OSD for the frame rate OSD on Ubuntu and I'm using MSI Afterburner for the OSD on the Windows side. So the loading time can take a bit long on each system. I did cut the loading time from the play demo moment to straight jumping in. So the FPS max is set to 1000 so you can see at the 300 limit it goes up and above. When we're in the main menus anything above uh, 120 or 144 is overkill. So we're finally jumping in, not yet in the match but right at the beginning we're already seeing Ubuntu lead by quite a bit of a large margin of frames per second here. We're looking at what looks to be anywhere from 20 to 30. Frame rate leadership. Okay, it's moving quite a lot here, so it's a bit hard to see. Definitely the higher frame rates are on the Ubuntu side for now. Yep, still looking at the higher frame rates there. It does seem to be moving up and down quite a bit. We started up at around 400 and then went down to less than 200. So we're seeing 200, all right, drop down 116. When we get outside, it really does have uh, an effect since all the models in the area have to be rendered. Still overkill FPS for most screens. 200, we're starting to see it equalize. They're both starting to get closer to each other. So it looks like if you're playing on the low settings, you're going to get quite a bit of a boost if you're playing on Ubuntu. So it jumps up. This is the first respawn section that I do not cut out, so just so you can see what the frame rates are like. So we're seeing 300 on the Ubuntu side, 270, 280 on the Windows side. There's about a 20 to 30 frame rate difference here between both systems. So far so good. So when we're inside the frame rates really go high up but when we leave the building it's going to drop back down again or at least it should, it seems to be going back up. 300, 270, 220, yeah it moves a lot, it really does seem to go up and down quite a bit. So just a reminder, on the left is running through the OpenGL3 API for the graphics rendering and on the right side we're running it on Direct3D9 for the graphics rendering. Now if I'm not wrong, this is still using the 2GL valve uh, layer for translating the Direct3D calls to OpenGL so it's not a pure OpenGL uh, implementation as far as I know. Maybe if it was a pure OpenGL implementation we may be even saying higher frame rates. So we're looking at 300, 200. So I'm trying to go through as many classes as possible without taking up too much time. It did take up quite a bit of time though, about 5 minutes for each section here. Uh, 5 minutes for low settings, 5 minutes for max settings. So now we're using the Pyro. Still seeing quite a considerable lead on the Ubuntu side. Why does this lead matter? If you're running on lower end hardware, that 20 to 30 additional FPS can be the difference between the game being playable or not playable at all. If you're running on high-end hardware, or relatively new hardware, which most people will be in time, then it really doesn't matter because you're going above the frame rates that you can, your screen can render. Most people do not own a 144Hz monitor, even less people own a uh, 120 Hertz monitor even though that's pretty rampant on the market most people just pretty much have a 60 Hertz monitor So we're still seeing Quite a bit of a lead on the Ubuntu side. Actually, I think it's consistently leading on the Linux port here Despite this game being developed natively for Direct3D9 
the OpenGL version came as an after the fact, I believe. I'm not sure if this game had the ability to force OpenGL back when it was first released. I'm not sure if this was a Direct 3D9 only title back then. So seeing the difference here drop down, both systems getting very close to each other. So when it gets hectic like this, when with the heavy running into the scene, both drop down considerably with uh, Ubuntu only taking a very small lead. It's still a lead nonetheless, which is pretty impressive. I'm curious to see how this translates once we put it into max settings. 200 versus 190, 220, 230 versus 219, 215. Does move quite a lot, but they're both going above 200 there. So overall, I'd say that's pretty impressive results for the minimum settings. So now we're jumping into maximum settings. Resolution stays the same at 1080p. This is maximum settings this time around. The only difference is that the window side can go up to 16 times CQ, uh, CQAA, I believe it is, uh, the anti-aliasing, but I do not do that. I keep them the same, both at 8 times MSAA. So once again, Ubuntu is on the left side and Windows is on the right side. I, at the beginning, it's always limited to 300 frames, so I always use the FPS max set to 1000, because 1000 is pretty much overkill. So both have jumped up past the 300 limit, just to confirm that it has indeed uh, been set to above the 300 cap. So jumping right in, this is maximum settings, we're seeing quite a considerable lead on the window side now, which is very peculiar. When everything's set to max, uh, the Ubuntu version stays at 180 there, 190, the window side 280, oh, things seem to be moving up and then down again. The differences are pretty huge. The Windows side seems to be taking the lead here. Neither are reaching past the 400 frame rate uh, limit here. Like before this, when we were on low, they were both able to go above 400 at the beginning. Oh, Windows side has actually dropped down below the Ubuntu side now. Some seems to be trading places. So when we're on max settings, it looks like they are trading blows. Ubuntu takes the lead for a moment. Uh, Windows takes the lead for a moment. They're trading places. Now they're looking rather similar. 180 up, looking similar still. A difference of 3, 4, 5 frame rates at any given time with one or the other leading doesn't really make a difference. It matters when they are consistently able to keep a lead or lose a lead over a time frame. So once again, this is the first respawn section that I don't skip just to see what the frame rates are. It definitely seems to lead on the, Ubuntu, uh, on the Windows side. So we're seeing what looks like to be 50 to 60 frame rate difference here. Pretty large difference when you're when you when you're in the respawn waiting time there. So we're still seeing higher frame rates on the Windows side. Slowly Ubuntu's catching up, but still it's pretty big difference here. So it looks like there must be a setting somewhere that causes the OpenGL side to really suffer frame loss. Now it traded places for a moment there. Now they're almost indifferent once again. Frame rates are on the same level. 130, 140, both sides pretty much the same here. Now it became quite hard for me in the editing of this video because when on higher settings, the window side would hang every short moment uh, for about a second or two enough to put the recording off pace, out of sync. So there are moments where I had to manually bring the uh, Windows recording back so that it keeps up with the Ubuntu side. If I just let it be, then it would be completely out of sync by the end of this video. So it's definitely garnering higher frames per second, but it seems to have this uh, hanging effect, which is very annoying. To 60 to 70, looks like they've traded places again. Ubuntu is leading for a moment there, then Ubuntu dipped down pretty far. They're both pretty much the same there. So it's pretty much trading places here. When we're indoors, we see higher frame rate on the window side, but then every other case, it's either they're indifferent or they trade places depending on how much action is in the scene. So while it's not shown here, just now was also a moment right before the respawn where I had to realign the videos once again because the window side decided to hang itself for about two seconds. There will be a moment in a bit where I don't cut it out, I just simply let 
the hang stay in the video so that you can see it for yourself. They look to be relatively the same frames per second right now. So right when I'm about to jump off the roof in a moment, the window side will hang for a very brief moment, but enough to put my video out of sync right there. That was it. Windows just decides to stop rendering for whatever reason. It looks like that hang seems to be enough to give Windows a short momentary FPS boost, but then it goes back down to being indifferent. The hangs do not happen at all on the Ubuntu side. So we've got 180 to 20 frames per second difference at any given time, but looks like for the most part they are indifferent near the ending of this maximum settings testing. So this is pretty much interesting results here this time around. It's not a clear winner when it comes to the maximum settings. In fact, it almost looks like a draw for the majority of the time. Summary time! Alright, so it's pretty clear when we have absolutely lowest settings on both systems at 1080p, Ubuntu takes the lead, and consistently so. So if you're on lower end hardware, that's pretty good news for you if you're running on Ubuntu, but only in the case of Nvidia. When you change it to high settings, the absolute max that we can go, 1080p also for both platforms, we see that at moments Windows takes the lead, then Ubuntu takes the lead, then they fight uh, to keep, well they don't really keep the lead in the case when they normalize. There are moments where Windows is able to take up to upwards of 60 frames per second in the lead, but there is a problem with the Windows side where it hangs quite often actually, it's not once or twice, it happens throughout the video, especially after you respawn which may affect low-end hardware quite significantly. Those uh, hangs could have a longer duration and a more impact on your gameplay experience. So overall, this is a pretty interesting uh, video for testing so far, but it does showcase that Valve is committed to uh, perfecting the OpenGL performance of their games. Definitely runs very good on Linux. If people are doubting it, you can go ahead and play it. But know that AMD and Intel users will very likely experience different results. AMD, you, the natural thing that I've come to expect is that you're going to experience half the frame rates that you would on Windows if you're using AMD hardware. And Intel, pretty much, uh, how do you get the game to run or you don't? That's pretty much it. But if you're running on Nvidia, it looks like you're in pretty much good hands. If you're running the proprietary drivers, you should be up there or sometimes even better than the Windows performance. Hopefully I haven't made any mistakes in this video, guys. I hope it was informational or useful to you in one way or another. And thank you for watching.